up guys, Joshua Skinner Farms. Uh, a couple weeks ago I told you I was gonna get some triple 20 because I couldn't find it around here, so I had to order it from Amazon. Um, I'll put a link down below where you guys can get this at. It was fairly cheap, I don't remember exactly what it cost me now. But... It was for a five pound bag, hold on a look. Because it was cheaper to buy the five pound bag than it was. And this is water soluble, triple 20. I don't know if you can see that or not. And like I told you, I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon per gallon of water. Got some old orange juice jugs here. It was $24. I think $24.99 maybe. Yeah, something like that. But that was cheaper than finding it at half a teaspoon per gallon. So you're using your Fun fact we figured out, all two liter bottles and Coke bottles and water bottles have the same size mouth. I did not know that. My husband is right. So, I'm not sure, I told you I don't know how much it's gonna take for these self waking tubs, so we're gonna start off with a couple gallon and uh, I'll show you how to do that and from there. So, and uh, start watering these self waking tubs and might sling some out on the plants. And, We'll see. So you already put enough in there for that whole jug? For both jugs? Yeah. Oh. Per gallon. Oh, so that'll really go far. Yeah. Alright, so all I done was put my funnel in my little tube here. And dump my water in. And you'll see it when we get enough in there, it'll pour out that hole. You may get the measurements down figured out. I'll probably just do it with the gallon jugs. That way I know I'm getting the right amount and I'm not wasting the fertilizer. It's not cheap, but it's not super expensive. But I don't like to waste money. So. No. And you guys really wouldn't be... you. I, for those of you that are homesteading, that are having your own gardens... You understand what we're going through, but trying to find the vegetables that you want to plant, trying to find the fertilizers you want, everybody has been, I think, kind of going back to the basics of life and planting a garden this year. I've We've never had so much trouble trying to find plants, have we? No. Which is awesome. Good for everybody, but... Whew. Is that hole where I ain't? Nope. Yeah, it's over here, but it's not okay. coming out yet. Sorry, I was trying to hit it right at the same time. It's starting to come out the whole very it's trickling. Yeah, and it's got a good stream now. So that one took three gallons. Okay. And I may come back and sprinkle a little water on the top too, just let it soak down in there a little bit better. Cause... Well, you could sprinkle a little bit of that one on top of there and we can... Huh? Oh, never mind.
you first plant your tomatoes uh, and you water them, water around the base because tomatoes like the water down on the roots. They don't want them up on the leaves so much as they do their root, more of a root there. Yeah, these are the pink girls. Really. This is just... transplant these over in one of the other beds. You can see it's these little granules. And then you put it in your water, it instantly dissolves. So Yeah. Better than Kool-Aid. That's what you want. Water soluble. You got water. Like I said, every day you eat, you need to feed them. I don't know. Really. It's, that one's got water coming out already. Huh? So just a short video. I told you we'd do it when we got this uh, triple 20. Got the self licking tubs watered, got the beans and zucchini and squash all done up. And so get you some of this, really good stuff. Uh, hope you like this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed. Thank you to our service men and women for keeping the glorifying high on farm over here. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.